my first real nice six string uh, was a, a guild um, starfire or firebird or something single cutaway little red two pick double pickup guild you know and um, I bought it because when I checked it out in the music store it sounded like Mike Bloomfield to me it sounded, it sounded like his telly did on that uh, uh, first Butterfield record I don't know why uh, it, but somehow it made it for me you know it was like that's the sound you know so um, and that was based on a telly man come to think of it and then you know of course he was he went to the Les Paul pretty quickly thereafter but you know I just seemed to be able to do whatever I needed to do out of this guild you know and then when I got interested in jazz which was later on I mean I got the uh, an L5 when I was uh, working with um, I, guess, I think yeah with Charlie Musselwhite so I was like 19 and uh, and I, uh, I bought an L5. And then uh, about two years later with Jimmy Witherspoon, I traded it on a Super 400. And that was because I want to play jazz. I need a jazz guitar. So I got, that looks like a jazz guitar. And then I went to a, a 335 a little while later on because uh, I went, I was living in, uh, up around San Francisco. I had to come to LA to do a gig and I forgot to bring my guitar. So, shit, I needed a guitar. And I was playing with the LA Express, so I, you know, and Joni Mitchell, so I had some money, and I didn't really think about it too much, you know. I went downtown to buy a guitar, you know. We went into Guitar Center on Sunset Boulevard, and uh, they had a 335 on the wall, and I said, "That looks good." I checked it out. I said, "Okay, I'll take this." <laughs> well, this is Old Faithful. I've been playing this guitar since about 1983, or so, maybe four. Yeah, and um, it was. Uh, something that Dan Smith who uh, at the time I met him was with Yamaha but we were talking about a guitar you know smaller body two you know double cutaway humbuckers you know he wanted to do something that married um, the Strat and and a jazz guitar or a humbucking guitar Gibson style I mean this guitar doesn't do that that was their intention I just wanted something you know that was smaller than a 335 because I just got tired of that big old thing and I don't wear my guitar low, I like it kind of high. So, um, between, you know, like, he just, he went with it. He and John Carruthers um, designed this guitar for Fender. And uh, here it is. I mean, this is it. I've changed the pickups. The pickups they made then were no good. Now they're good. They actually have good pickups in them. Is it hollow? They have some hollow. Little cavities. Solid, hollow, solid little hollow there and of course it's hollow here for that um, people uh, need to feel free about um, messing with their guitars you know very important I mean I don't know how to do it myself but uh, I you know found somebody that I like to do it for me when I need it and uh, you know pickups are easily changed these days and you know people should experiment if they don't dig their sound they should experiment with it I like a bigger bridge that's a Nashville Gibson Nashville bridge that isn't what originally was on this guitar. I like it. Simple change to do. Also, I have my tone and volume controls disconnected right now in this guitar. Or just, you know, they, nothing happening there. So I have to rely on the volume pedal, obviously, for that. Uh, I'm not so sure I'm going to stay that way, but I have been playing like this for at least a year. So, you know, you can, you can make a change like that, and you can always go back. You know, so people should feel free to check it out, you know, mess around with it strings. I use uh, uh, Diodario 10s.